Greetings from Christ the King Parish in Concord, New Hampshire. I'm Father Rich, the pastor, and welcome to uh, Chapel Chat. This week I'd like to speak to you about uh, evangelization. Uh, it's a word that's sometimes uh, misunderstood, or uh, maybe people, you know, think about it as evangelical churches, uh, which certainly they evangelize, but uh, as Catholics, we're called to evangelize. And evangelize basically means to proclaim the good news. That's what Evangel means, good news. Uh, and so we're all called, every single one of us is called to bring the good news to others, to uh, attract people, to persuade people, to invite people, uh, to welcome them to Jesus. That's the good news. Jesus is the good news. And so one of the, uh, the tools that uh, we have chosen to use in our parish community here at Christ the King uh, is a new magazine that's uh, being rolled out this weekend called Proclaim. And this has been uh, several years in the making. Uh, as a divine renovation parish, uh, our, uh, our mission is to go from maintenance to mission, <laughs> from maintenance to mission, from keeping just things the way they always were and moving to be more missionary uh, intention. You know, a missionary intention where we go out and invite others. So it might be people that are fallen away Catholics in our own families. You know, there all of us have in our families people who have gone away from the faith. It might be neighbors or coworkers who have no faith, who have don't practice any religion. Uh, it may be people who uh, who are considered themselves to be agnostic or atheists. You know, uh, maybe some of them are their neighbors or uh, acquaintances of ours. And uh, we have a responsibility as Catholics to invite. Uh, it's not a hard sell. It's, it's, a, it's a matter of witnessing, first of all, witnessing to others and, uh, and to share that witness with others. In other words, you know, how has Jesus touched our lives? How have we experienced faith, experienced God uh, in a personal way? And so uh, the tool that we've chosen to use is a magazine called Proclaim. Uh, and this, this first edition uh, will uh, share with you some of the people in this parish community who have witnessed to me, how they've uh, witnessed to me the presence of Jesus in their lives, and in turn have witnessed that to others. And so that's what we'll be focusing on. And also there's uh, other features in the magazine, uh, you know, a feature from uh, our uh, young disciple uh, coordinator, uh, who's Jen Alby, and also from uh, Haley Judd, uh, we'll have something on faith formation. Um, but it's gonna be a great little magazine, and the reason we've done this is that in the bulletin, you really can't roll out a story, there's not enough room. So what we've done is instead of having a weekly bulletin that is you know, several pages long with just you know, news bulletins, you know, just things that are happening, and repeating the same thing over and over every week, uh, we decided to make a smaller version. So this is the bulletin we're going to have now. It's going to be very small. But it's going to have the essentials, uh, the mass intention, the schedule that's going on in the parish that week, uh, and a few important items that are time sensitive. But the, the other things are going to be in the monthly magazine. So the magazine will be in the church throughout the month. And so we're hoping you'll bring one home, uh, read it, and pass it on. Maybe take an extra one for someone you know. All right, so they'll be in the church, uh, and that's... Uh, what we're going to use as a, as a tool for evangelization. Because if you pass it on to someone, they'll uh, probably put it on their coffee table and you know, maybe when they're waiting to, you know, to see someone or if they're waiting for a TV program to come on, they can read a story. Um, also, we'll hopefully have them out at various uh, you know, professional offices in the, uh, in, the, in the parish community, in the greater Concord area. And we'd like to just really shout out to all those sponsors, all those people who have taken ads out in the in the uh, the magazine we'd like to thank them and we ask you you know if you see some of the members of our parish and they're all members of our parish who took ads thank them for uh, for their gift uh, of supporting uh, proclaim many of them were advertising the parish bulletin but now we won't have that anymore so please pray that this is a successful tool in our call to a new evangelization to go out and proclaim the good news of jesus so let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of faith, hope, and love. We thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus, and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. As a trinity of persons, you call us to relationship. Please bless us, every one of us in our parish community, that we may share that relationship with others and bring others to your heart through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.